So here is the 600 millimeter timbre door supplied to me by Magnum Motorhomes. It works basically just on fixed running mechanisms. Excuse the hole in the corner, that's my vent that hasn't turned up yet. And simply all you need to worry about is a nice fixing point on the bottom, which I've actually stuck the bottom rail down. Um, you can screw them, but obviously bear in mind that you're screwing through your shower tray. Now this is quite a solid um, track, so it doesn't move, it doesn't want to bend in any kind of direction. So I put some good silicon down on here, um, pushed it into place and walked away and just left it for, um, for the evening. Um, and on my return, all you do is you sit your timbre door into the track and then find a way of fixing the top track. Now, if your door shuts onto a wall, that is perfect. But if it's on a longer wall like mine is, like this, what you'll need to do is create a door stop of sorts for the magnetic strip to fix to. Um, so I've, I've screwed a piece of 2020 UPVC um, it's not offensive at all because my wall panels are the same. And then I've simply stuck with some clear silicon and a couple of screws, the magnetic strip. And this allows for the door to butt up against it. That is pretty much all you need to know about this door. It's held together with tapes like this. It is cuttable in size. I did mine with, um, with a metal blade and an angle grinder. Uh, the cut is never seen, but needless to say, it cuts very easy, it cuts like butter. Um, it's plastic right up until this trim, uh, until this panel here. One thing to bear in mind, I have mentioned this on my walkthrough video, on my channel. One thing to bear in mind are the dimensions. So if you've built a shower tray in your Sprinter van, for example, that's 700 mil at the bottom, please bear in mind that at the top, it is less than that. So, so please do the maths and work out whether or not it shuts fully. So, but also bear in mind that from point to point is 600, but it does take up some of the door coming around this corner here. Uh, and that leaves it for me with the handle exposed like this which is absolutely great. That handle can't disappear around the corner and, uh, and never be retrieved. So the finished position for me is here. And I simply close it like this. So this door doesn't come with any instructions and it doesn't really need them to be honest. If you're converting a van, this should be way within your skill set. But what I did, if you can see there, just in this running track at the bottom, what it should go dark maybe there's my finger on the angle i drilled a couple of what i would call weep holes that kind of thing because this fills up with water naturally when you're showering um and i didn't want it to sit there forever um when when you do close the door it does shift it along and throw it out the bottom but i've i've drilled a couple of these little vent holes in the bottom um, and I have seen the water just running out of there naturally. So that might be a little bit of an idea for yourself um, It doesn't affect the structure of the of the track um, And it's still well within the waterproofing of your shower